Hello, this is a daily COVID update from Deccan Herald. I am Akhil on the bulletin today. Guidelines for lockdown 5.0 release. Karnataka reports a slight drop in new cases. In our series of conversations looking at the future, we speak to Sanjana Madhapa from Cuba to understand how pets and stray animals have been faring during the coronavirus crisis. There weren't as many cases about a month ago as there are right now. So for the last two weeks especially, we have been on an average taking in five dogs a day. But first, a look at the daily figures. At the time of the recording, India has over 89,000 active cases in the country and over 5,000 deaths. The ICMR has tested more than 36 lakh samples for the novel coronavirus so far, and more than 1 lakh 27 samples in the last 24 hours. The much awaited guidelines for lockdown 5.0 have been released. Activities will be allowed to resume in a phased manner outside containment zones. And in phase one, religious places, hotels, and restaurants, and shopping malls will be allowed to open from June 8th. The Ministry of Health will issue standard operating procedures for these activities. In phase two, a decision will be taken to reopen educational institutions after consultation with states and union territories. Based on the feedback, a decision will be taken in July. In phase three, depending on an assessment of the situation, dates to restart services like international air travel, metro trains, cinema halls, gyms, swimming pools, as well as other religious gatherings will be decided. The night curfew on the movement of individuals will continue between 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. throughout the country. The lockdown will continue in containment zones until June 30th. These zones will be demarcated by the district authorities. Only essential services will be allowed in these containment zones. Intensive contact tracing, house-to-house surveillance will be followed. District authorities can identify buffer zones where cases will likely to occur and place restrictions as they consider necessary. States and union territories can also prohibit certain activities outside containment zones if they consider it necessary. It is mandatory to wear face covers to maintain physical distancing of six feet. Large gatherings continue to be prohibited. Weddings can have up to 50 guests and 20 persons will be allowed at funerals. Spitting in public places will be punishable with a fine. Consumption of liquor, pan, gutka, tobacco is prohibited in public places. Workplaces are asked to follow work from home as far as possible and business hours will have to be staggered. All other sanitization and screening methods will continue to be enforced. Employers are asked to make best efforts to use the Arugya Setu app. There will be no restriction of inter or intrastate movements. Separate permits are no longer required if a state decides to regulate movement. You will have, have to publicize it widely before placing such restrictions. Movement of passenger trains, shramik trains, domestic air travel will continue as per existing standard operating procedures. Goods and cargo operations will not be hampered. Moving on to the numbers from Karnataka. 141 new cases were reported from the state today, out of which 90 cases have domestic travel history. 82 of these cases were returnees from Maharashtra. Bangalore Urban reported 33 fresh cases, which is the highest number of cases today. Meantime, 18 other cases are from Yadgiri, 13 cases from Udupi and Dakshina Kannada, 11 cases from Vijaypura, 7 cases from Bidar, and all 4 from Haveri have travel history to Maharashtra. Mysuru, Belgavi, Darwad, Kalburgi, and Uttara Kannada have reported cases from those who had not traveled from Maharashtra too. 3 out of 6 cases from Shimoga have returned from Punjab, 1 person from Kolar had returned from Tamil Nadu. The source of the infection is being traced for 21 new cases in Bangalore and 1 in Kalburgi. The state registered one COVID-19 death today. A 47-year-old woman from Bidar who was diagnosed with ILA passed away. With this, Karnataka has recorded 2,922 cases of the novel coronavirus this year and 997 patients have been discharged. The state currently has close to 1,900 active cases, of which 15 are in the ICU. Meantime, the state has tested 15,728 samples in the last 24 hours. The state has decided to keep all activities open tomorrow. The Sunday curfew has been lifted. KSRTC and BMTC buses will stay functional from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. All other public transport will also be operational. Shops and commercial establishments will stay open tomorrow. And moving on to our conversations looking into the future of COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown has also been tough. Not just for humans, but also for animals. Several animal welfare organizations reported a spike in pets being abandoned due to fear of transmission of, of the virus. While for strays, a lack of food was a major concern. My colleague Amulia spoke to Sanjana Madhapa from Cupa Second Chance Shelter to ask her how they have been coping during the lockdown. Uh, thank you so much, Sanjana, for uh, joining us. Thanks for having me. So my first question to you is, uh, how has past few weeks been, to, been for you and the animal welfare community? So actually, when the lockdown was first announced and this whole COVID thing started, uh, things were a lot easier. I think people were scared of... 
coming out and handling and and being exposed to um, to to the covid virus so we actually didn't see those many uh, dogs being abandoned for the first month um, unfortunately in the last one month it's gotten really bad so we've on an average had about five dogs being given up a day either being abandoned on the road or um, people calling us and saying that uh, we want to give our dog away a lot of it has to do with unfortunately uh, the finances uh, and this this whole covid thing has impacted a lot of people economically as well and uh, there are some sections of society that aren't able to uh continue having a dog as part of their life because of the added expense that it means especially if it's a dog that already has a health issue so we've been getting a lot of these calls and uh, so yeah like i said five dogs a day has been our average for the last two weeks what has been the condition of strays during the lockdown how have they been coping ah that is yeah it it was really bad initially to start with it was very very bad because um, a lot of the eateries a lot of the restaurants a lot of the people who were feeding them on a regular basis suddenly stopped um and so we had we we suddenly over a week's time to one and a half weeks time we saw a lot of the healthy strays a lot of the healthy community dogs become completely skinny start looking unhealthy um so but the effort that the animal welfare community in bangalore took to kind of help the situation was unbelievable uh, even corporates pitched in a lot of corporates stepped in to kind of donate funds towards this uh, since people are working from home uh, a lot of people seem to be adopting you know kittens and puppies so what's going to happen when these people you know go back to work So I think it's the job of the adoption centers and the counselors uh, or the individual people who are giving these dogs or pets or pets up for adoption to make sure that they're making this particular point very clear that having a pet is not dependent on covid. Uh so just because you are going to be at home for the next one month and you want company at home or you feel like you're feeling lonely uh and you want to have a pet that's not the condition for it. So if they're going to be adopting it has to be uh while understanding that it is a it is a lifetime commitment for the for the for the pet so you're looking at a 5 10 year commitment depending on which the pet is has corona virus had a lasting impact on animal welfare community um i think, <laughs> i don't know i don't know if it's for the for the better or for the worse honestly um i know there's a lot of people who are thinking twice about buying dogs because it's an expense uh so i also do not know do know a lot of illegal breeders and puppy mills that are going out of business because not everybody is as keen now to you know go and spend 10000 15000 bucks to buy a buy an animal that's going to then be a commitment a financial commitment as well um people aren't too keen on doing that uh the second shift and the second change in mentality i seem to be seeing is people actually are becoming a little bit more aware and compassionate um I think that's something that covid has done is kind of shaken people up a little bit uh to be a little more uh aware about what's happening in your sur- in your in your surroundings you know and uh, so a lot more people are opting who didn't want to adopt initially uh and wanted to only buy a lot of those same people are coming back saying you know we've thought about it and we've kind of reevaluated our stance on it and you know we want to adopt um I'm hoping this is a this will be a lasting effect. I really do hope. That's all from us today for the latest updates. Log on to deckandhandle.com. Stay safe, and we'll see you on Monday.